Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. Now, there is a consensus that Razer usually sells pretty expensive mice for not that good of a value. Although their mice provide excellent performance for their money, uh, Razer mice were just not worth it, especially for people in a budget. However, this mouse by Razer, the Basilisk X Hyperspeed, completely changes that. There are three different versions of the mouse that you can purchase on Amazon right now. The one we're looking at is the third option, the one below over here. Now, although normally this mouse goes for around $50, more often than not, there is a sale going on which reduces the price to $35 to $40 and for that price, I really don't think there is any better mice which is wireless and offers this kind of performance. Now let's get into the features of this mouse. First, let's talk about build quality. This mouse features a plastic build and while it's obviously not the greatest, the plastic is durable and feels pretty good quality. The rubber texture on the sides has held up pretty well, albeit I've only used this mouse for 3 months. The buttons are also really nice and clicky, and the plastic panels on the bottom that help the mouse glide are also well made, as the mouse can glide along rather easily. The design of the mouse is very ergonomic and is easy on the hands. Keep in mind that this mouse is not ambidextrous, and its shape is meant for right hand users, but this mouse is extremely comfortable in my rather average sized hands. It's perfect for people with large hands as the mouse itself is quite large. Uh, now there are 6 programmable buttons in the mouse which can be changed in Razer software. The mouse does not have any RGB but that makes the mouse look more simple and low key. One disadvantage is that the mouse lacks any kind of rechargeability and so you have to use a AA battery to use the mouse. The performance on this mouse is pretty darn good. The mouse uses mechanical switches and the switch feels very clicky and tactile. However, I would have to point out that the side buttons do feel a little cheap with, no with a not so satisfying click. This mouse uses Razer's new hyperspeed wireless technology that, that apparently reduces latency by 25%. Although I have not done extensive testing to check its authenticity, I do definitely notice a slight reduction in latency compared to other cheap wireless mice. Another feature of the mouse is that it uses Razer's new 5G optical switches which have a 99.4% accuracy. Once again, I'm not sure of how true this is, but from my usage, I can confidently say that the performance on this mouse is great and the tracking and accuracy are also on point without any lag or stuttering. Uh, the mouse also features dual mode connectivity. Uh, you can provide dongle or Bluetooth to connect with your PC. Although the dongle provides better latency and tracking, the Bluetooth mode offers higher battery life. I have faced one annoying issue when using the mouse, and it's in its dongle or 2.4GHz mode. Whenever the mouse goes into sleep mode, it sometimes does not instantly start working when I need it to, and I have to wait a couple seconds. I think this can be fixed with the software update, but as of right now, the issue still prevails. It's definitely not a deal breaker, but I do think I have to point this out. Now, when you connect your mouse for the first time, a dialog box will prompt you to install the Razer software. In this software, you will be able to change a bunch of stuff for your mouse. The most notable features are that you can change your functions on your buttons and the DPI of your mouse. And the mouse has a DPI range from 800 to 16,000. You can also calibrate the mouse on different surfaces and Razer also has an option for that. Uh, overall, I think this mouse is probably your best choice if you want to purchase a good wireless gaming mouse under $50. It has great performance and accuracy with minimal disadvantages, for the price obviously. Uh, and that pretty much concludes the review of the Razer Basilisk... Oh god. And uh, of the review of the Razer Basilisk X Hyperspeed Gaming Mouse. If you like the content, give the video a thumbs up. But if you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And consider subscribing if you think the video helped you in any way. And that's it. Hope you all liked the video. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.